More tonight on how law enforcement tracked down a Quincy couple for their alleged role in the storming of the U.S. Capitol. The Department of Justice says Jason and Christina Girding were part of the crowd that pushed its way into the Capitol building on January 6th, halting the certification of the 2020 election results. WGEM's Blake Salmon joins us in the studio with more. Hi, Blake. Mackenzie, good evening. The Girdings appeared before a judge after their arrest yesterday morning. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Springfield tells us both are free tonight, released on conditions. The FBI says they arrested Jason and Christina Girding at their house here at 2418 at North 12th Street yesterday. Neighbors we talked to who wouldn't go on camera say while they weren't close with the Girdings, they say they were good neighbors and got caught up in something much bigger than themselves. Another says he didn't know they were so politically involved, saying they usually kept their yard clear of political signs. Today, their yard only had this Tea Party sign urging people to vote. The Justice Department says tips and social media played a big role in placing the Girdings at the Capitol on January 6th. According to court documents, the account name at Girding underscore Jason tweeted this photo inside the Capitol, showing them in front of a painting that's listed as hanging in the Capitol rotunda. Another Twitter account shared the same image of the Girdings in the Capitol, along with the picture of a Facebook group conversation. The username Christina Girding posted the photo with the text, Quincy made it inside. The FBI says in the days after the riot, they received multiple tips identifying both Girdings as participants. Social media accounts show it wasn't a spur of the moment decision. On December 21st, the account tweeted about the disproven conspiracy theory QAnon and about their plans on January 6th. Anons, I need help, just booked a flight to D.C. for the 6th. Best place to stay close to the rally. Five days later, just after Christmas, another tweet. So much disinformation coming out, I don't know what is real, what is fake. I trust the plan. I'll be in D.C. Jan 6th, but my head is starting to hurt. Why is there scaffolding there? When someone commented on the Facebook post that the Girdings should be locked up, Christina Girding responded, well, since they let us inside, open the doors for us, I think I'll be just fine. The Girding next court appearance will be on Tuesday, February 2nd at 1 a.m. via video. Blake Salmon, WGEM News. And the Girdings are charged with knowingly entering or remaining in any restricted building or grounds without lawful authority, knowingly engaging in disorderly or disruptive conduct in any restricted building or grounds, and violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds.